Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Good morning and praise the Lord. Today is Saturday, April 20th, 2024. My name is James Newcomb. I'm grateful that you have pressed play and chosen to spend a couple of minutes with us as we go through the scriptures. This being a Saturday during the season of Great Lent, we go to the New Testament, Monday through Friday, we're in the Old Testament, but now we're back in the New Testament. We will be hearing from uh, St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews, and then we will hear from the Gospel according to Luke. So let us begin with St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews, chapter 9, verses 1 through 7. Brethren, the first covenant had regulations for worship and an earthly sanctuary. For a tent was prepared, the outer one, in which were the lampstand and the table and the bread of the presence. It is called the holy place. Behind the second curtain stood a tent called the Holy of Holies, having the golden altar of incense and the Ark of the Covenant covered on all sides with gold, which contained a golden urn holding the manna and Aaron's rod that budded and the tables of the covenant. Above it were the cherubim of glory overshadowing the mercy seat. Of these things we cannot now speak in detail. These preparations having thus been made, the priests go continually into the outer tent, performing their ritual duties. But into the second only the high priest goes, and he but once a year, and not without taking blood which he offers for himself, and for the errors of the people. And now we will hear from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 39 through 49, and verse 56. In those days Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country, to a city of Judah, and she entered the house of Zacharias, and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the babe leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is this granted me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the voice of your greeting came to my ears, the babe in my womb leaped for joy, and blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has regarded the lowest state of his handmaiden. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed, for he who is mighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. And Mary remained with her about three months and returned to her home. Since this is a very short uh, reading of the scriptures, I want to share with you a quote uh, attributed to St. Pisces of Mount Athos. There is no other way to eternity with God than to walk this earthly road with trust in Christ and conflict with the desires. For if we ignore our whims and receive us in heaven as we are, we will create trouble again there. This is why God allowed Satan to create experiences here in order to purify us, so that our souls will be humble and purified with sorrows and then grant us peace. Again, thank you for pressing play on today's episode of Good Morning and Praise the Lord. Would you look us up on the web at gmptl.com?
gmptl.org, gmptl.org. Phonetically, it is grace, mercy, peace, truth, and love, but it is gmptl.org. My name is James Newcomb. Thank you for pressing play, and we will close today's episode with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.